It's Sunday, March 18th, 2023. It's a very, very early Sunday morning, and I've got some things to do this morning, so I wanted to uh, make this video. I'm not sure exactly what time it will be posted, but I wanted to make this video early so I could get it done before I take off. And uh, this morning, um, just pondering about what's taking place, and I must tell all of you, I'm really worried, I'm very concerned about the condition uh, of this economy, of these banks. I think a lot of people have a very false sense of security of what is taking place in the banking sector and the financial institutions. $22 trillion in commercial and private deposits in the United States of America. FDIC has $125 billion to insure those $22 trillion. And there are so many people out there that just believe that their money is FDIC insured. Let me repeat this. There is $22 trillion of deposits in US banks with $125 billion insuring that. So if we um, had a couple banks go down, uh, it would be big trouble. Uh, most people would not get their money out. You know, this morning I, I was thinking, um, for whatever reason, I was at the grocery store uh, over the past summer and uh, ran into an old friend of mine and his wife, and he was joking around with me like, oh, hey, you know, I thought everything was going to crash, you know, tee hee ha ha. Um, and, and, you know, people just couldn't see the warning signs last summer or last year. And this is a time when I was paying $7 a gallon plus for super unleaded, uh, regular $6. And so when you're paying six, $7 for gasoline and people think that there's nothing wrong, this is how blind uh, people are. This is how delusional uh, people are. And I'm sure that individual now uh, is beginning to smell the coffee. So very, uh, just very interesting um, how people just couldn't see the warning signs and how the economy was deteriorating, how inflation uh, was beginning to pick up. People thought that the Fed uh, would never raise rates. Uh, they believed that uh, uh, inflation was transitory. And people just either wanted to deny reality or they were too scared to face the truth. And now people are going to have no choice but to face the truth. And the truth is, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to see a massive stock market crash, bond crash, and real estate crash right here in America. Take a, take a look at what is happening right now as I make this video. I just jotted down some notes this morning. We've, um, in the last week, bank runs, bank collapses, more layoffs, more inflation, more rate hikes, and a crashing economy. This is what's happening right now as I make this video. How many people are in the banking business right now, work for banks. Um, I think we're gonna see a lot of banks shut down. And that means a lot more people are gonna lose their jobs. And that means that the bigger banks are gonna become even more powerful. If you're in real estate, uh, this again, another industry where we're gonna see a lot of people lose their jobs. I hope the people in real estate, you could be um, in the mortgage business, you could be a real estate agent, uh, you could be a builder, you could be an appraiser. I hope you saved your money because we are going to see years of a downturn here uh, in real estate. But these are a couple really bad sectors here, banking and real estate. We're going to see a lot of layoffs here. It's going to be a, a, a really bad time to be in these businesses. Another thing I, I, I noted uh, this morning, gold 
and silver. Why are they going up? They see fear. People are getting worried and they're running to real things. And I think this is a time where you have to be extremely defensive. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm thinking out loud here, jotting down some notes and sharing with all of you what I've been doing for years. Uh, this now is the time to get back to simplicity. This now is the time to get defensive. This is now the time to own real things. Uh, this is the time to get worried. This is definitely the time to worry. This is the time to take action. I think physical gold, physical silver, the two most undervalued, extremely liquid assets on planet Earth, they're never going to be worth zero. And these things are going to matter the worse it gets, the worse the economy gets. And heaven forbid we begin to see a, a, a problem with the dollar, we begin to see a currency problem, a currency collapse, you're going to thank God you own real things like gold and silver, land, uh, collectibles like art. These are the things you're going to want to be in. You, you know, I'm, I was just thinking um, yesterday, uh, we, we, we think about all the dollars out there in other countries. They begin to get worried. Those dollars are going to come back to America, and that is not going to be good uh, for your purchasing power, not going to be good for inflation. But how many countries at some point do you think are going to start dumping dollars? Um, we're living in a time that people thought would never happen to America, and it is now in the beginning stages, and all of you must be getting ready. And there are still people out there, I, I, I just love this, they'll tell you how bad the banks are, they'll tell you how dangerous and how, how fragile the banking system is, but then they tell, you to be, they, they tell you to have multiple banks, have multiple accounts. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, if you don't need to have all your money in the bank, don't have it in the bank. Uh, it is much safer somewhere else. Now you can figure that out where to hide your money, where to put it, dig a hole in your backyard, put it in your mattress. It is going to be much safer somewhere else than inside a bank. But I, I don't understand these people who warn us every day about how bad the banks are, but then they tell you to have multiple banking accounts. Uh, look, if you run a business, I get it. Uh, you know, if you have $10 million in the bank, yeah, maybe you have to have some multiple bank accounts, but maybe you better have a few million out of the bank. Maybe you better have a few million in gold. Um, but to uh, just, you know, uh, think that having your money in multiple banks, the whole system's going to go down, ladies and gentlemen. If, if uh, we begin to see a big bank get hit, what do you think is going to happen to all the others? And, and so it's only a matter of time. Uh, before those ATMs shut down. It's a matter of time before your bank shuts down. Uh, but I, I don't think a good strategy is to be in multiple banks when we're talking about the entire uh, industry uh, melting down. So be very cautious where you're putting your money. Another thing uh, that I noted this morning that I, I wanted to bring to your attention is we're watching rising inflation. We're watching rising interest rates. We're witnessing further deterioration of balance sheets of banks loaded with toxic treasuries and mortgage-backed securities. These regional banks, ladies and gentlemen, are in very, very big trouble. And you're not going to be able to stop what's coming. Uh, but you can prepare for what is coming. So I think right now, uh, there's no doubt an assault on the smaller banks, the regional banks, and this is going to obviously uh, cause and has caused a run to the big banks, and we are watching billions upon billions of dollars of inflows into the big banks, outflows from the regional banks, and uh, this is going to really strengthen the big banks, and we're going to see, I think, a lot of smaller banks crumble here, unfortunately. I don't like to say that, but this is what's happening right now. And uh, your money probably is not going to be that safe in a regional bank. It's going to be much safer, I think, at, in the, at this time in a bigger bank. But it's only a matter of time before a big bank goes. So um, I think right now, you know, if you have to have money in the bank, you, you probably have to get it out of a regional bank because uh, Janet Yellen is telling you they're going to pick and choose uh, who they're going to insure. And more than likely, it's not going to be your bank in Indiana. It's not going to be your bank in Oklahoma or Arkansas. Uh, but it's going to be 
the JP Morgans, uh, it's going to be the Bank of Americas, it's going to be the city groups, it's going to be the big players, uh, not the small ones. So you cannot stop this, but you can prepare and you have to take action right now. As I said earlier, we cannot stop what is happening, but we can prepare, we can take some action. You know, over the past year, two years, people spent a lot of money, money that was given to them, uh, money that the government gave out to people why they did, while they didn't pay their rent, while they weren't working. Many people went out, uh, you, you know, bought Lambos, bought Lexus, bought Mercedes, taking pictures of the steak dinners, posting them on Facebook, showing us what they're drinking, weekend vacations, uh, Many people uh, taking this money, gambling in cryptos, making money, and now the gravy train is over. So now people are selling the Gucci bags, they're selling the Rolex watches, and people are gonna learn a valuable lesson here that the piper is about to get paid. Things are no doubt out of control. The people that are in charge, a lot of people think that they actually know what they're doing. and. I'm beginning to think that maybe they don't know what they're doing. So what does that mean? That means that you need to know what you're doing. Do not rely on some entity coming to save you because we're seeing right now that nobody is coming to save you. Look, just a couple weeks ago, they here in the state of California, San Bernardino up in Big Bear in the mountains, Crestline, they couldn't even plow the snow off the roads over 13 people died uh, because of that snowstorm. And this, uh, this state here of California could not even get snow plows and trucks and, and people to assist in moving snow uh, off the mountain. So if you think some Calvary is coming to your rescue, you are sadly mistaken. You need to really be taking note and paying attention right now uh, to what is going on. And if you do, you know as well as I do, nobody is coming to help you except you. Again, things are out of control. So a couple things that I think we all can do right now is get disciplined. Get disciplined mentally, get disciplined physically, uh, spiritually and financially. Discipline is going to be very, very important here. It's going to play a huge role. Uh, get a job. If you don't have a job right now, there are, there are a lot of jobs out there. Maybe not the type of job you want. More than likely, it's going to be in the service sector. More than likely, it's going to be part-time. But that's no excuse to not have a job. Go work two or three. Get your side hustles going. Um, another thing you can be doing right now is, is getting a skill set. Uh, extremely important. The people who have skills are gonna be the people who survive this depression. The people who don't know how to do anything, the people who are lazy, the people who've just been sitting around watching Netflix and, and, and uh, vaping, those people are, are gonna be left behind. They really are. Uh, right now, you need to be sharpening your skills. You gotta be moving. You gotta be getting off the couch, off the X. You gotta be moving. Um, when you're just stagnant, just sitting around, even your brain becomes stagnant. Uh, we want to keep the blood pumping. We, got, we want to keep things moving. That's good for the brain, good for the body. And that's going to help us survive this depression. So get the skills and control what you can control. The things that you can't control, we can't worry about. But we can take action and prepare. Uh, and, and that's all we can do right now. But sitting around and just hoping for the best is going to be an awful strategy. Again, don't expect a rescue. Uh, this is no time uh, to be taking pictures of what you're eating for dinner. I, I just love it. I mean, still, even at this point in the game, people are still taking pictures and showing us what they're wearing, what they're eating, what they're drinking. I, I mean, these are adult people. I guess like when you look at a TikTok video and you see people in their 30s, 40s, 50s, shooting these ridiculous videos. And it's even more ridiculous that people spend half their day and all their attention watching this, this garbage. Uh, this, this, this should reinforce with all of you how bad this is gonna be when things really begin to fall apart, when things really implode. We have a society that is addicted to TikTok videos, a society that is so narcissistic, addicted to taking pictures of themselves and posting them daily of what they're eating. 
I mean, I could give two you-know-whats about what somebody's eating uh, or what they're drinking. I mean, you got, this is, this is getting very real, very serious, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a very, very serious game here. So I would be paying very close attention to what is happening, not what people are eating this weekend. This is the time to get in survival mode. I cannot stress that enough. I've talked about this in the past. We could all be doing more, myself included. I, I sometimes feel guilty that I'm not doing enough. Um, I'm making more precious metals purchases. I'm, I'm getting out to the range, training more. Um, I've got another uh, jujitsu class uh, scheduled Monday morning. I'm gonna try to get three days in this week. Uh, only got two in last week, but just always doing something. You know, if there is some, if there is a weak link in your armor, you need to be working on it. And I know that there are things that we don't want to do. There are things that make us feel uncomfortable, things that aren't fun, things that we have to sacrifice sweat, sacrifice time for. Those are the things you need to be doing, ladies and gentlemen. This is the time to do it, to prepare, to become a stronger individual mentally and physically and spiritually and financially for when the times get very, very bad. So address the things that you need to address right now, where you can strengthen, where your weaknesses are, and work on those. These are going to be incredible assets for you down the road. This Ain't no game, ladies and gentlemen. This is real life. This is real. And if you're not getting ready right now, um, you're not going to be able to get ready when you wake up that one day and you find out that all the banks are closed, all the ATMs are closed, uh, or the power's out, or the dollars collapse. Um, you're going to be in a world of hurt. And I make these videos every day to just bring attention and aware awareness to the possibilities. Uh, of, of things to come and uh, many things are happening right now and a hundred years from now they'll look back in the history books and they'll just ask why didn't the american people get ready how come so many millions of people didn't see what was coming how did they not know how did they not prepare so ask yourself this weekend are you prepared are you ready if you woke up tomorrow and all the banks were closed would you be okay if you woke up tomorrow and all the power was, power was out, we got hit by a cyber attack, would you be okay? Would you be able to survive for two, three, or four weeks? What if there was a dollar collapse tomorrow? What would you do? Everything you own is on a computer screen, and it's all backed by dollars. What would you do? Do you have gold? Do you have silver? Do you have skill sets? And most of all, can you protect yourself? Do you have the skills? I'm shocked with the amount of people that I know personally who are not able to protect themselves. I'm really, really shocked. And I must say, I'm actually a little disappointed that I know so many people who are gonna be defenseless, that just don't have the ability to protect themselves. And I, I really pray and hope that these people wake up very, very quickly, because I'm not gonna be there to help them. God bless all of you, have a wonderful weekend. Um, I wish I had better news. I wish I was making car videos. I wish the economy was booming. I, I wish America was getting out of debt. I wish there was opportunity. I, I wish there was a light at the end of the tunnel. Right now, uh, I see darkness. And it's not going to be fun. And this is not going to be over in six months or a year. We are going to feel serious pain. Get ready. Get prepared. Take action. God bless.